record. E. That was right. I can record with this too. A. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Dawson video. This one's a pre recorded video. Uh, before I actually start streaming a 27th training uh, for people who know that I'm a part of a clone, clone troopers uh, VR chat group um, they always tell me that it's a quote-unquote latency issue it's never been about latency it's because this game was never designed for combat VR chat was designed as a hangout group game it was never designed for combat. It was never designed. Its servers were never designed to handle something at a combat situation issue. When you say we're having quote unquote latency, it's not latency. It's not the lag. The thing about strafing, which is going side to side, like how I'm going right now, if I were in a combat map, like every combat map, even the good combat maps, which is PvP light, which were the people who actually knew what they were doing when it came to these types of maps, your hitbox is moving. So if I'm moving to that side, my hitbox is either over here or over there. If I'm moving this way, my hitbox is over, well, here, where my fingers are pointing. Well, my fingers. So, when when someone is a quote unquote latency tank, they're not entirely not killable. The thing about it is, when you're running backwards, your shit is thrown into your legs. You're not a latency tanking at that point. It's just due to running backwards, the way VR chat works is on combat maps. When you're running backwards, since your hitbox is supposed to stay stationary but now that you've thrown combat into the mix you fucked up the box the box that surrounds your whole body so if you're running forward your box goes taller if you're running backwards your hitbox gets lower so if i run backwards my hitbox is at my hips or it could even be down just at my legs so you could hit my chest all you want and I wouldn't do a thing. It's not latency tanky. It's just basically the way it works. It's the way of the code of the game. It's the way the game was coded. It was the way this shit works. It was never designed to do any combat. Now, when someone desyncs, what desync does is they're not entirely not killable. All of their shit, all of their hitbox is in their fucking, either their foot, it's either on the top of their head it's either in their hand on their shoulder you never know where it's gonna throw it so when you're desynced it's not really they're not unkillable it's that all their shit's gone into their foot that's why when you hear me argue um lag isn't an issue or hear me say desync isn't an issue because it isn't this game was never designed for that type of shit it was never designed for combat. All 187th have had training dealing with this shit. The only battalion in that group that knows how to deal with latency tanks, how to deal with desynced people, is 187th because I do specific trainings just for them to stop that issue. I also do specific trainings to where we look like we're latency tanking, but actually we're taking advantage of the game's code and basically taking the game's code due to the no the shifting in our hitbox to do strafes strafes are going from side to side like how i'm going if i go side to side constantly this is called a strafe strafing does work see what strafing does is it jumbles your fucking hitbox like a fucking mofo if you're doing it constantly it confuses the game and it jitters it, making you a harder target to hit and a harder target to even touch. CC knew this, which they hate CC. CC is racist, yes. CC may be an asshole at sometimes, yes. 
But you gotta keep in mind, the guy actually came up with a solution to this problem, which was preventing quick sidestep. Which prevented you from going do 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 do. And all of your maps were going do 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 do. We're just going side to side to side to side, which fucks with you. It messes with you. It is an asshole and dickish move that only one in seventh knows how to use properly. It pisses people off because they think we're latency tanks, but we're actually not. We're just using the game's code to our advantage in knowing how the game was designed. If you know how the game was designed, if you know devs, they've already specifically said in their Discord server, this game is designed for Hangouts. It's not designed for combat. Any terms of combat, you're going to have issues. You can fly shit in here. You can do anything you want in here. But when you start making combat maps, you need to take these aspects into effect. Because you don't know where their hitbox is going to wind up. When they desync, you don't know where where their hitbox is in general since you turn off if you turn off nameplates and you turn off hood what that does since i tend to do it a lot because it makes me more killable but i'm also using the advantage of knowing that this game was not designed for combat and since the combat maps use all combat maps use the same principles I take that to my advantage and use strafing, which is moving from side to side, side to side. I can be shooting at you constantly in the middle of the wide open, just going do 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 do. I could just do that, and you couldn't hit me because one, I'm not latency tanking, I'm not lagging. I I'm honestly a one hit one kill, or two hit two kill. You can honestly run up with me with a fucking repeater and it wouldn't do a thing because you're not thinking of where my hitbox is. I've trained all 187th to deal with these issues. Literally, I've trained them how to deal with latency tanks, how to deal with this, how to deal with that. They know so much about this game that it's not funny. The reason why we're so terrifying is because we know what we're doing, we know how the game functions, and we take that into account, and we take advantage of it. Since I train them myself, it's pretty much a guaranteed win. Because, one, I know what I'm doing. Two, I know this game was never designed for combat. So if you tell me latency and strafing doesn't work... Look again at the kill counts of 187th, and look how many times they die in a combat. Every time you see them combating, they're strafing. You say it doesn't work, but then look how many times they wind up dead. They rarely die. I'm the one that dies the most because I turn off one specific thing. That makes me less likely to basically become immortal so before you actually think oh it's just due to latency oh it's just due to lag no bullshit it's not just due to lag it's not just due to the internet it's due to you need to learn how the game works and once you know how the game is designed to work you can easily kill anyone in a combat all right that's it for this video I just wanted to get that off of my chest because they're being morons about it. They're like, you're a latency tank. Latency tanks don't exist. It's just because you're not thinking ahead of time on how the hitbox moves. If you think about how the hitbox moves, you can easily predict where it's going to be. That's why I always bring them to here. Because you have to be... I'm bringing them here because you have to think of where the hitbox of the rock is and you got to think of your hitbox as well. So the advantage of that is a good idea. You've been trained. 
do anticipate a hitbox. E. No. Shut up about being always right. Because you're wrong when you think you're right. Two wrongs don't make a right. So if I'm right. And that all of this has always worked for 187. It should work for any battalion. Now use it. Stop being idiots. This game was never designed to do any of the stuff these groups ever do. Combat was not supposed to be added and is not compatible with VR chat. Murder was another is another good example of a combat oriented map to where it works properly because you only have a certain limited amount. And that's gonna do it for this one. I've talked for over ten minutes. Yeah.